This is the worst possible field in Farming Simulator 23 as it has weeds, it needs plowing and it's 0% fertilized. And previously I was getting 80% yield bonus because I didn't do one specific thing and that was plowing. So in this video I am going to show you how you can get 100% yield bonus from your field. So for that you gonna need a plow or a subsoiler. So it really depends on whatever you like. So I have both of these and I will show you the drawbacks of each each of these and then we're gonna need this sprayer to kill weeds and this fertilizer spreader to fertilize the crop and a seeder to plant of our crop. So of course these are all the basic things and you guys all know these about these tool very well. So first of all let's bring this plow and try to plow our field. So you guys can see there are a lot of weeds and as soon as we start plowing everything turns into a beautiful dark brownish soil color <laughs> texture and it looks really really satisfying i mean look at that all right i am <laughs> i'm just missing some part of this field but yeah besides that look at this beautiful texture and we are currently plowing and this is a very beautiful mccormick tractor which is pulling this plow and now let me show you this field at this moment is zero percent fertilized and there are no weeds inside and if i move over here this is the worst possible field which has everything every possi uh, possible problem in this game all right so now let's attach this subsoiler which does has a very big drawback i will explain later in this video uh, what the drawback with this uh, subsoiler is but yeah let's start using it on the other side of this field or and we will start from the middle of this field and let's go and start using this subsoiler even though this tractor <laughs> is way too under power because this subsoiler it needs 300 horsepower and this tractor i guess only has 190 horsepower so yeah that's a really tough task for this tractor but it's working fine 10 kilometer is not that bad i mean that's the maximum this subsoiler uh, can give but the problem starts when it's try to drive uphill because for the slopey field then the the speed reduce five to six all right guys so now we have plowed this whole field and also used the subsoiler and you guys can see we are done here all right so the next thing is of course to plant some sort of crop so i'm currently planting canola on this field of course you want to plant the crop of your choice on your field but yeah I, for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna plant canola on this field and currently this is a very good seeder by the way it also fertilizes your crop so you already done one level of fertilization with the help of this seeder because it allows besides allowing you to direct seed your crop it also allows you to fertilize your crop in one go all right so now we are getting 70 percent yield bonus on this part of the map which is really really good and you know what the only thing that is left is and on this part let's hire another helper and it will plant more canola for us this is really good and i i thought we should you know wrap things up so that's why i'm using another tractor and this massive ferguson is planting canola on this end of the field Alright guys, now I'm gonna show you the real drawback of the subsoiler. So you guys can see this is where we use subsoiler and there are a lot of weeds and it's it's growing. There are a lot of weeds growing and it's only yield bonus is only 50% and this is part of the field where we used plow. So plow basically kills all the weeds instantly. So if you are using plow on your field, you technically don't even need a herbicide or a sprayer and i will try to fertilize this field and hopefully it will fertilize this time and after applying this second level of fertilization this field supposedly or technically should give me 100 percent yield bonus because there are no weeds and most likely uh, the weeds won't even grow on this part of this field and however you guys can see 
on this part where we used a subsoiler there are a lot of weeds so that is the drawback of using a subsoiler that it will not a subsoiler will not kill weeds if you will use you even though you will uh, remove the needs plowing status from the your field but it will not kill the weeds the plow will kill the weeds for you all right so now you guys can see we are getting 100 percent yield bonus on this side and uh, of course we will get the 100 percent yield bonus on the other side as well if we use a herbicide so yeah that's that's the real problem with the subsoiler and the drawback with plow is that it has a very small working range so it's uh, 1.5 meters shorter than the subsoiler so it's really up to you whatever you like i i usually like i mean if a field is asking for plowing or if, if a field has a needs plowing status i will be and it's a large field i will be definitely using a subsoiler instead of a plow but if it's a small field i will definitely be using a plow because then it doesn't make any sense to use subsoiler on small field because it's a small field and even you can use two plows at once and that would also work perfectly fine anyways we have killed the yield and we are getting 100 percent yield bonus on this field as well so guys uh, a lot of people were asking in the comment section to make a video on how to get 100 percent yield bonus this is how you get 100 percent yield bonus uh, from your field you make sure that you have applied two level of fertilization on your field you have killed weeds from your field and your field is not uh, in a state where it's, it says needs plowing so you have also plowed or used a subsoiler on your field so give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video very soon bye bye